Hi, welcome to Chemistry 3006, the hydrosphere. In the previous mini lecture, I explained to you how log concentration plots work uh, and how easy they are to make. You just have to practice them a little bit, but yeah, they're great little things. Um, you don't need any software, you just need a piece of paper and you'll scribble it down. But the question is, um, like, why does that work? Why does the log concentration method work? Let's quickly go through that. Um, if you remember from the exercise in the earlier mini lectures, we said that we had two conditions in this acid weak acid system. There's a total concentration condition, uh, concentration of the uh, conjugate base A is equal to the con concentration of the undissociated uh, acid and the conjugate base, so that's a concentration condition, plus we have a, a K constant condition. In this case it's a mixed constant, we're using the H plus activity uh, along with the uh, A minus concentration divided by the total HA concentration, so it's a mixed uh, constant but this is neither here nor there. We can combine these two equations, we can eliminate A minus plug this equation into this equation uh, and then we can solve for HA and we get this expression HA equals this concentration A times H plus concentration divided by K plus A on H plus okay so actually this equation explains the whole graph can you see why well I'll show you because uh, when the H plus concentration equals K dash A. So let's suppose the pH is such that H plus concentration equals K dash A. Then uh, we have two K dash A's on the bottom line. K dash A plus K dash A. That's two K dash A. And on the top line we have not quite, because this is an activity, but essentially we have K dash A, assuming the activity is one. So we have C A K dash A divided by two K dash A. So we have C A on two. So in that case, when the pH is equal to K dash A, the value of the HA concentration, which is one of the things we're trying to plot, is CA on 2. Um, likewise, if the H plus concentration is really, really big compared to KA, let's suppose KA is 0.1 and HA, H plus activity is like a million, um, then we get C times a million divided by 0.1 plus a million. So this point 0.1 is completely negligible compared to the large H plus and we get CA times H plus divided by H plus ignoring this term. So we get CA and that's this first term. And the third regime is when H plus A is much smaller than K dash A. Well let's say it's just zero. In that case uh, H plus A uh, can be neglected uh, in terms of next to KA. So we get CA times H, dot H plus A, which is a small number, but uh, K, it's, uh, the bottom line is the important thing. We can neglect H plus A relative to KA. So in this regime, we get CA H plus divided by KA. We get this formula here. So that's pretty easy. Now we just need to take the logs of both sides. So if we take the logarithm of HA in each of these cases, we get, in this case, log CA. Right, remember that's the line which is flat, log CA. And then in this case we get log CA divided by 2, which turns out to be log CA minus log half, which is actually, uh, sorry, log CA plus log half, which is log CA minus log 2, which is log CA minus 0.3 units. That's the origin of the 0.3 in the graph. Uh, but that only occurs when the H plus concentration equals the Ka when you were on the vertical line. And finally, uh, taking the log of the third case, we get log Ca uh, plus log H plus, which is actually the negative pH, minus log Ka. So we get a linear graph. If you don't realize, this is if we plot this against pH, this is a, a line. It is a line with slope minus 1 because we've got minus 1 pH and it's a line that goes through the point CA minus 2 which lies 0.3 units below KA 
on the vertical axis. So that's the meaning of this line here. So this formula here, which we get by eliminating these two a minus in this equation and taking logarithms, explains how we calculate the log pH concentration, log concentration, log pH graph. Now we do the same thing for HA minus. Uh, you can have a look at this. Eliminate here the two equations, eliminate HI. We get this formula here, which is very similar. Again, we get a situation like this, but somehow the two states are reversed. We have a CA2 in the middle as before. We take the logs and we kind of get a symmetric situation, which is why we have that inverted V uh, looking sort of symmetric and the way the concentrations are symmetric around the KA line. That's it. That's the explanation. See you later.